If you've walked along the Tarka Trail and alongside the old railway station at Torrington, you may have come across a carriage or two and a team of keen volunteers working hard. That's because every Thursday a group of heritage lovers and friends meet up at the Tarka Valley Railway Station for a day of renovations, light exercise, chat and lots of tea. The group, known as the Tarka Valley Railway Group, was formed in 2008 to preserve what remained of the railway at Torrington and begin an extension of the line back towards Biddeford. Our plan is to long term aim is to get up to far as Biddeford. But so what we're doing is starting at the Torrington end, uh, getting the basic main line put in and deciding so it can shunt the stock round. Uh, it's a nice playground for the retired people, everyone who comes here as a volunteer and um, all industries are, are represented just about, you know, we've had shop staff, we've had engineers, we've had all sorts, all of whom have retired, come down here, keeps you fit, gives you a purpose in life. Just how is it going so far? Well, we've got the first 300 metres of track in, uh, we're concentrating on this end first to get some limited maintenance facilities in operation so we can then be able to restore the coaches and the wagons that we have here before we proceed northwards. Long term aim is to get to Biddeford but that's a, a long, long way ahead. In terms of funding, just how is it being paid for? Most of it is through local um, grants from different sources, the odd £1,000, the odd £5,000 here and there. Once we've got going and become more established, then we'll be able to apply for more serious funding. But a lot of it is funded by our own members um, and, our, like I say, local, local businesses, that sort of thing. It's going to help the community. Um, we are intending to keep the Tarka Trail open alongside the railway. Um, but not absolutely in no way are we going to close the Tarka Trail, that's an important thing. So a good thing then is that if people are cycling down towards Biddeford, comes on to rain, they can come back on the train. That's the long term aim. It will also provide a bit of relief from the main road which is you know, quite, uh, quite busy at the moment as you can hear. But there's, there's a lot going on here. The station was closed for regular passenger services in 1965 under the Beeching Axe. But due to both the China Clay and the milk train traffic, freight trains and the occasional passenger special used the line until 1982. The station building itself was converted into a public house and today is the Puffing Billy Cafe. The line meanwhile forms the popular Tarka Trail cycle and walking network from Meath to Braunton and beyond. However, it could soon return to running trains up and down once again, thanks to the team of volunteers. It started off as uh, a, a, an unincorporated group of people who were interested in uh, trying to get the railway uh, up and running here. Uh, and eventually, because it was uh, to, to, to really be serious and, and to progress, we um, uh, knew that we had to set up in some sort of formal organisation and there were various ways of doing that. Uh, years ago you had to set up, you had to be a limited company and a charity, the two things. Um, and if, but uh, not that many years ago now, the, the CIO, um, Charitable Incorporated Organisation, uh, was uh, became available. So you just need to set yourself up as a CIO and you're automatically both a business and a charity. So you don't have to fill in two lots of returns, uh, just one lot. Um, so we did that. Uh, and uh, as a charity of course you have to have objectives um, to get charitable status and we've got two really one is to uh, rebuild the railway from here and the second one is an educational one to tell people about the history uh, of, of particularly here but also of transport in the Torridge area um, because as well as the railway of course um, which was the, the most latest thing to appear here before that there was a canal and the railway, uh, when the railway was built, it bought the canal to, so it could use part of the track bed for the railway. Um, and also we've got a lot of uh, road history because just over here we have uh, a 13th century road bridge um, built by the monks at Frithelstock Abbey and we've got a toll house uh, on the road between Torrington and Biddeford. So we've got road, we've got rail and we've got canal history all in one place. So that's our second aim. On a busy day, up to 20 volunteers are getting involved, all with the same aim of getting the railway up and running, but also for a variety of other reasons. Basically, to get this line going again and uh, put it um, together, 
together, that, oh, even though it's going to probably be once most of us have died that yeah, by the time it's finished we, we just, it's just all going for the right thing at the right time it keeps everyone together uh, as a package there and it's for Torrington mainly uh, variety uh, friendship and learning new skills well it's progressing the railway over the next few months to actually get uh, trains running on the line properly and I just come down here to meet new friends as it is I'll come down here for the tea, the biscuits and the company. Next year marks 150 years since trains first ran up and down this stretch of railway. And as well as a big celebration, the team here are hoping to get trains actually running for the big event. And beyond that, who knows, we could head to Biddeford and beyond. Lewis Clark for Devon Live, near Torrington.